there guys, welcome to the meat shop. Thanks for clicking on. This video is part of a special video series inspired by you guys. I've been asked before for a recipe or sausage book, which I don't have, so I thought I would share my favorite book with you, which is Home Production of Quality Meats and Sausage by Stanley and Adam Marinsky. It is my favorite book. I think it's got great information in there for beginners and experts alike. And uh, to celebrate my favorite book, I reached out to Stanley Marinsky and he gave me permission to do Marinsky March. So we're going to do a recipe out of this book every day of March. And all the recipes and all the processes are right out of the book, which will be in the link below. That is, a link to the book will be in the description down below. So, without any further ado, let's get into Marinsky March. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Marinsky March. I'm looking forward to making this one because it is into a sheep casing and it's smoked. It's kind of like a snack stick. It's going to be delicious, like a European snack stick. The tourist sausage for tourists in Poland. This is a reading from page 273 of Home Production of Quality Meats and Sausage. This is a small sausage and convenient item for tourists and travelers. Meats are the same as in Tambov sausage, but different spices are employed. Similar to Polish kab kabanosi meat stick, which is made from pork only. So this one is a pork, beef, and bacon mixture. So it's got bacon in it, that means it's going to be good. It's smoked, fully cooked, it's salt, pepper, sugar, caraway, garlic. I got a pretty good feeling about this. It's going to be too textured, so the pork and beef in there is going to be very coarse. And then we're going to grind the bacon through a fine plate, which is usually the reverse of how that's done. So I'm excited to see how that works out. But step one, run the meat through a 10 millimeter grind plate, 3 eighths of an inch, which is pretty thick. Uh, and we'll do that to make our 1 kg batch of tourist sausage. Grab my bacon and set it aside here. Slice this bacon up a little finer. And by the way guys, I just took all this meat out of the freezer. It's been in the freezer for about half hour before I got started here. So this stuff's nice and firm. Runs through your grinder better that way, particularly if you're getting down to a fine textured sausage. This stuff going through the 3 8 plate wouldn't have mattered as much. Get that on tight. Get this meat fed in there. Here's our coarse pork and beef coming out right now. There we go. And for the meat selection guys, it says beef pork. So it doesn't give you a fat percentage in the book. So what I've done, I've been using pork butts and then I'm using some beef top sirloin trim. We're cutting steaks there on Friday. So I saved some of the trim, the stuff that didn't quite make steaks. And then I added some back fat to it to get about an 80-20%, 80% lean, 20% beef. And then the pork is about 25-75. So it's going to have a fat percentage in the end of about 22.5%, roughly. So there's the first grind. Easy peasy. Nice looking material to start working with there. You see it's got a pretty good fat ratio in. Nice lean meat on the outside of the fat. Then we'll swap our plates out and put that fine plate on for the bacon. Got that new plate on there. We'll throw our bacon up in and just, am I going to mix it all together? Mix all ingredients with meat adding water. Yep. So you can throw the bacon on and grind it right into the other mixture because you're going to add your spices after that and just grind and mix everything together for this sausage. There we go. Bacon going through that fine plate. It's going to be interesting. I'm not sure how this texture is going to work out. All right. Not very much, so it's easy task. Fine pork on the side. Fine or bacon, I should say, on the side. It already smells good because it smells like bacon. All right. Mix all ingredients and add water. Get our water measured out. Grab our spices. Nice spice mixture to go in on top there. All right. So we'll throw those spices on to our tourist sausage. Smells good. Toss them about. It's going to be really bacony, which isn't a problem. And we'll add our bit of water. 
which is 10% is what it works out to in this recipe, which is a good number I like using. Ooh, that's cold. All right, fluff it around and really get in there, get it mixed, make sure everything's really well distributed and I'll show you what I'm happy with when I get the protein extraction. Actually, reading the book here, it doesn't say to mix overly thoroughly, it just says mix ingredients with meat, adding water, mix until all water is absorbed. And I was just thinking maybe if I, if I end up mixing this too much because bacon's pretty fatty, you'd end up smearing that fat. So I, it's pretty well absorbed. So I'm actually gonna stop there, guys, before I smear the fat and actually cause protein extraction issues. And uh, we're gonna get this loaded into the stuffer and stuffed into 24, 26 millimeter sheep casings. All right, guys, so I got some tubed sheep casings to go on the horn here. You just find the end, the tab end there. Lube up the horn. They should feed on there. I might have to help them along a little bit, but it's hung up every once in a while. Feed them on. Really speeds your process up. Oh, it's kind of double fed there. All right. There we go. Sheep casings on the horn. Now with these ones, guys, you want to let a little bit of air out. And then you gotta be kind of careful with them. They're fairly brittle. A little air out. Wow. All right. You know, I feel they wanna have a little bit of give with them. Just like a natural hog casing, basically. They're just a little more finicky. Lots of texture in that one though, guys. Got a feeling it'll be very yummy. All right, coming to the end here. There we go. There's the end of our 1 kg batch, 2.2 pounds. Rip it off. This guy can just be salted or drip dried, wrung dry, pat dry, salted, and thrown back in the cooler. Now the book says to make 12 inch long links. So we can do that. All right, so you can kind of just massage the point where you want to twist because that's where your blowouts are going to happen most likely. Very nice, dense, firm sausage. And then spin towards yourself. One, two, three times. And repeat until you get her all linked. Now you guys could, if you don't have sheep casings, you could replace these with uh, collagen casings. Collagen casings don't quite get you the same snap that a sheep casing does uh, out of a smoked product, but they will do the same trick roughly. All right, there they are. The tourist sausages for tourists of Poland. Time to let them drip dry at room temperature for an hour, then we'll put them into a preheated smoky smokehouse. All right, we've got the tourist sausage in there, hanging out beside the cabanossi. So they're gonna get the same treatment. Uh, the smoke pellets are in there. They're just starting to smoke away now. And uh, they're gonna get that light smoke for an hour and then we're gonna cook them till they hit 160. So next time we see them, they'll be fully cooked. All right, so the smokehouse just went off for our tourist and cabanose sausages here. So crack open and whew, there they are. Nice color change on them. See the probes down in the middle. Still getting a little bit of smoke on them, but uh, next step is to give them just a little cold water to rinse and firm them up. All right, got them sitting there. So they got a little bit of color, guys, about an hour worth of smoke there before they kind of got up to temperature. Well, I guess it'd be about an hour and a half they were in there total. First step was uh, popped them in the preheated smokehouse with the smoke going already at uh, 150 for an hour. Then I bumped it up to 175 and it took them about 45 minutes, I guess. So an hour and 45 minutes. Just give them a little rinse to cool them down immediately. And then we'll dry them and try them tomorrow. All right, guys, here they are. The tourist sausages, the next day, fit for tourists. Now it's time for us to give them a try after they've been cooling down all night. Cut a link off here. They look good. Not quite as like dark and mahogany colored as I'd want. And they kind of came up to temperature pretty quick, these guys in the smokehouse, but they got about an hour and a half of smoke on them. 
Yeah, you can still smell that hickory smoke, so it'll be there subtly. But uh, this is the two textured one with the, I can't remember, was the bacon fine or coarse? Because did, I did the bacon sausage, I can't know. Let's cut into it and find out. I can't tell. But this is what it looks like on the inside. There you go, guys. Kind of two textures in there. Looks pretty good. Nice and firm, nice and dense. All right, let's, uh, let's see how she tastes. Casing has a perfect snap. Which means we got it just full enough. Oh man. Yeah. I can see why tourists would want to eat this. This is awesome. Tastes a lot like bacon. A little bit of pepper in there, right amount of saltiness. Yeah, this one's easy to snack on. This one would go, this is my recommendation to have with beer. This bacon tourist snack stick with beer would be really good. Anyways, guys, if you do make it and you do have it with a beer, let me know. I like reading the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And we're making a video out of home production of quality meats and sausage every day this March. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care. I go find a beer.